there's three things that I think people do in the bathroom other than, you know, things that people do in the bathroom. And that's um, read, and people like porn, and people have a tendency to want to write on the walls. So it was important for me to allow for all of those. When I first approached the bathroom, I thought I'm working with a very small space, and I therefore made a limited amount of pieces for it. And when I got in there and spent the night in, in a public bathroom, it's kind of funny, I realized that once I got everything in there, I had really only decorated one, one corner and the rest just became totally improvisational. We kind of just brought, <clears throat> brought it to the table, yeah. you know? We found a way to work it so that... I think we collaged with like what we would normally make because it is a little intimidating to do a conceptual installation. Right. But we just thought if we make a whole lot of what we like to make and then both of us are really aesthetic, our rooms are full of crap and right. it's beautiful. and. So we, I think we just figured that we, we could arrange it enough that it'd be like really dense and the feeling between us is like apparent. We sort of like look similar and hang out all the time. So I, I think our art, we knew, we knew it would look good together. It would right. look cohesive. And it was a lot of fun. It was a challenge. Um, I thought about it for really like two months and I started um, brainstorming and I kind of had a, had a vision somehow or a feel of how I wanted it to feel and I knew my paint color. And I do drawings of various mythological creatures having sex with each other. And they're amazing <laughs> and really detailed <laughs> and I have a lot of yarn work and God's eyes and cardboard collages which is mostly what I do anyways in all facets is like paper and yarn. And I also did uh, two different puppets and some other little three-dimensional stuffed creatures that went along with them. One of the puppets uh, has a giant golden penis with a, a golden grill uh, for a mouth and some chains, and he's with his lady. I like to write everything down first. I'm usually inspired by a vignette, a scene, um, a person, a moment, and then capturing that moment in, in a moment of expression. So I tend to work predominantly in gaffer's tape and then other mixed media. New Orleans, for me, I, is just, um, it feeds me. And, and the people, people, before coming here, people from New Orleans fed me. And I think that's kind of what's always been a draw for me to the city. I think it's a mecca of and it's and it's and it's also an outlet for you to create whatever it is that you want you're given the freedom to be yourself and there's no judgment and there's so much support within the communities so you know any weird thing that you're thinking about creating is fully supported for you to create and uh, there's no limit to what you can do. Yeah, and all sorts of people support you, which is surprising, right. like people who are not themselves someone who would like make the same type of art as you, yeah. craft art compared to fine art. I feel like I mesh well with the rhythm um, and the beat of the city yeah. and the soulfulness. I'm not saying I'm so, so soulful, but there's, there's just something very, um, worthy about this city and it's full of creative people and I think we all must be buzzing it in and we all must be feeding off of each other. It's passionate, it's colorful, it's drunk, it's it's nasty, it's beautiful, it's all of these things and that's what I think we are as people and that's what I like to embody in, in my work is, is, is grime and sexy all at once and I think New Orleans as a city and as a people where that 